guys welcome back today i'm back with a very exciting video because today we're going to be talking about the plot function in, in pyscript and this function is the mostly used function in pyscript as you will come across it a lot of times whenever you're writing codes for your indicators and strategies so to use the plot function let's go ahead and type plot and in order to look at the arguments that this function takes we can control click on this and the first argument that this function takes is the series now this series is the series of data to be plotted and this function uh, and this argument is a required argument so your function will not work without this argument now the second argument is the title and this title is the title of the plot that we want to plot for example if you are plotting a exponential moving average then you can put your title to be ema or exponential moving average as you like then there is this color as you know color you can plot your color any color you want to then there is this line width that you can change to change the thickness of your line and after that there are a bunch of styles as you can see these are all the style parameters or style features that are available for you in order to use in your plots okay then the argument is track price and this argument will plot a horizontal line when on the real time channel when this plot is being generated and then there is this histogram based argument and this argument will set a base for your data for a set of positive and negative values for example if you're using any oscillator that revolves around 0 to 1 and 0 to minus 1 then this hist base argument will set that base then there is this offset and this offset will offset your values in the forward or backward in your data after that there is this join editable and uh, show last so these are also the f uh, features or arguments that are available that allow you to join your pl plots and also here if you don't want your plots to be editable then you can set this to be false but by default it is true and then this is the show last which shows the last value of the plot that was plotted and then there is this display argument and this display argument is specifically helpful when you want to you know hide your plot but also use it later in your code so this is very helpful when you want to use a function inside another function as we'll see in our upcoming lessons so now let's go ahead and actually use this plot function so for example here you can see i have mentioned the plot and now the first argument that we have to give it is the series let's say we want to plot the exponential moving average so we can just say ta dot ema and here i'm gonna put the source to be close and the period is going to be 14. now this is our first function you can also name your argument as you use them for example here i can say source is this and then the second argument that we had to define was let me just fix this so the first argument is the series instead of source so i'm gonna just name it series and then the second argument is going to be title that is exponential moving average or ema and then we have the argument of color now i want to color it let's say color dot red dot red and then the next argument that we can use is line width if you want to thicken your line because sometimes it's very necessary for you to make your lines thicker so we can use four or five for that and then there is this style and there are a bunch of styles that are available as we saw earlier so for example here we have the styles of line while well, all these styles are available for example we can say plot dot style and here you can see line step line and all these and all these styles that are available so i can say plot the style of circles and then i can just save it and now as you can see the overlay argument is true so this plot will go directly onto the chart so let's save it and let's add this to chart and let's see what happens so as you can see 
we are seeing a series of lines as so we are seeing a series of circles being plotted on in the place of EMA okay so these are all the EMA values at each candle with the source as close and the 14 as the period now let's talk about how you can use this in its full potential so for example sometimes you don't want to be to plot on every candle for example you only want to plot the exponential moving average only when the candle is bullish so now let's go ahead and talk about how you can use the plot function in conditional formatting for example you don't want to plot when the candle is bullish and you only want to see the exponential moving average being plotted when the candle is bearish so we can sp specify those conditions in our plot so if i go here and say plot so let me just as you can see our plot is already defined we can just go here and in the source we can put our conditions for example if i go ahead and say that if if open is less than close that means that when open is less than closed that means the candle will be bullish so we can say if open is less than close then plot ema then plot na else plot ema now this is a conditional formatting and here we can see that it is giving us some suggestion for example uh, the function is saying the function ta should be called on each calculation for consistency but since we have put the condition then it will only be calculated when our conditions are meeting so if now i save it and if i see the change then you can see that now it's only being plotted when the candles are red so this is how you can use this conditional formatting in your plots to show the data whenever you need i hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below i would love to answer them also don't forget to like share and subscribe in my next video i'm going to be sharing other functions that are available in pine script that you'll be using in your indicators see you guys in the next video thank you